New addition to the vacuum collection, here is a Dyson DC040 still vacuum cleaner in this lovely limited edition colour scheme. And you're watching Florence Ballard A3060 on film. This is Florence Ballard A3060. Doors will open on the right hand side. So I got this about a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's from a British Heart Foundation I got this. This was actually from, uh, well, the British Heart Foundation it's in are where the staff that worked at the one I worked in and filmed at work in now. So this was originally sold for 65. You know what BHF are like with their prices. It came down on clearance to 40, but because I knew the staff there, I got it for 30. So not bad, but over half price on it. So as you know, or for those who know about my vacuum collection, because I wanted to film some more vacuums because I have, like, feel like we haven't done that in ages. Um, this is, uh, I, you'll know that I have a DC04 already in the lime and purple color scheme. That was my first Dyson I got into the collection. And then I also have a DC01 in the distilled color as well. But this is the DC04, so the same as that one. Um, it's DC04 dual cyclones yeah um there's unfortunately the rating stick has come off it so i do not know when this one was actually made but i think the dc04 was made sometime around 1999 or so i may be wrong i don't know what my one is i know my dc07 is 1997 so this comes with the same floor tools that you would have had with the dc01 but they come in this nice red yellow and purple color the distill means the style. It's um, is it Swedish, I think it is. I can't remember if it or Nor I can't remember if it's Sweden or Norway. I can't remember or Danish. I can't remember what it is. It, it's it's a it's an art movement um, of the time. Um, I mean the style, and I think they did. They did a lot of things in this colour back in like the early 2000s. I mean, someone remembers the Siemens Harlequin washing machine as well, though it wasn't related to the distill movement. But Dyson have always fascinated me with their colours. Um, this is something that I remember as a kid. I also remember having the DC-01 toy uh, with the uh, Ibasiax demonstrated, and I also had the DC-05 toy. The distill, though, only came on models DC-01, 2 and 4, they did. Uh, they didn't do a DC-03, and they never did a DC-05 just the toy version. Um, but yeah, like the, the DC-04 comes in so many colors, um, and I like to get plenty of them. Um, Dorian's got quite a few. Uh, he's got a few colors. Uh, has he got a DC-04? He's got the uh, silver and yellow one, I think he's got, and he might have a DC-01. I can't remember what, he, what he's got in that color, but yeah. So that's how it goes. So with this one, you get the standard, um, Obviously, the I'm not trying to do that. Just take it off. So this is your bin that comes out, um, comes off the top. So the DC01, the top part here, the actual filter. Well, is it the filter in there? Yeah, and the cyclone bit that is attached to the top. So yeah, hasn't really had a clean because I'm going to vacuum with it anyway. So like, it's not going to get that. But I saw it in BHF and I thought I have got to have that. Comes with your. I always love this little dusting brush. I always like how that looks. And you've got the upholstery cleaner. These differ slightly in appearance to the ones that were found on the DC-01. Um, and then you've got your filter down here. So yeah, I wasn't looking at getting another DC-04, but because it's a distill, I thought I've got to have it. So I've now got three Dyson uprights, and I'll tell you what, for what they're worth, they are very bulky vacuums, but they do the job. Um, they're one of the only vacuum cleaners that actually work in my room because they've got a revolving uh, brush underneath. Let me see if we can get this. This one is actually in very good condition. The beta bar on this one. I don't know if you can see that, but it is purple on this one. I think it'd be the same on the DC-01. There it is there. And it does rotate freely. There we are. There we are. So they've got it in an awkward position. There they are. Not jammed up with hair or anything, but like it's the yellow colour. Yeah. So that's that. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go around the house for that. Um, the sitting room's a bit of a mess because we've got some stuff in here, so I can only do a little bit around here. But I will do. I will show the 
uh, vacuum cleaner on the rug. I will show it on in my room where there's thick carpet and I'll even go into the kitchen and do, um, yeah, we'll do the hard floor. Might throw a bit of mess down on the floor just to kind of show it. Small attention to detail, but I do love how Dyson have an embossed plug. And even to the point of the um, cable being different. I know that my, I think my D my other DC04 is it, I think that one is, it's a green round, that's right, it's a round plug. So it's a bit strange, this must be either a later, or no, this would be an earlier model maybe than it, because it's a D-Still model. This has, uh, I think that's got a green plug with a purple get cord and the dc01's got a similar one to this but the dc01's got a different motor to it and i'd be interested if this has got the same one as the other dc04 i've got let's have a look right so sit back uh, put your headphones on i'm going to try to do no, i'm going to pretty much do no talking while i'm back i'm just going to let you guys enjoy it and um, we'll try and make it a bit of an asmr video we'll see actually i might do that i might do vacuum asmr videos like some people do we just do a bit, bit long video of me vacuuming there we go
There we go. All done. <sighs> what a workout that was. So, let's wrap it around here. Tell you what, that is the most powerful Dyson I've ever used. It was proper, proper gripping the carpet. So she was a proper carpet muncher. Yes, I'm aware of what that saying means, don't worry. I've got a friend who's one. I thought I'd get the three Dysons out in collection. So here we have the original one to my collection, the DC-04 Absolute in lime and purple, joined in the middle by the one we just demonstrated today, the DC-04 Distill, and here is the DC-01 Distill. You see, you can definitely see the differences between them. That is how much dirt we picked up today. So that'll be emptied out. The only thing I'm missing on the DC-04 is the upholstery tool. I'll have to get that. And it does need new hose. So that says, no loss of suction, no loss of suction. No bag, no loss of suction. Seems that one's a bit of an earlier one. But they've literally got pretty much all the same to them. Um, yeah, my goodness me, like, this one is really powerful. You've got George there as well. Right there, and then that's that Red Henry Ruby Sunday. But yeah, that's um, the only thing with the DC04 is that obviously the. Uh, so the DC-01 has a different upholstery tool. That's the DC-01. It only has a purple one, whereas the DC-04 has got purple and red, and it's a slightly different head to it. But, but yeah, this is different. It's purple and red, and this one's starting differently. Yeah. And this one doesn't have the, um, the cap that goes over the top. I like that idea. They're brilliant vacuums, though. I mean, I know Dyson get a lot of slate but these are the to me these are the better these are when dyson were, were quality i know that there's a bit of mixed opinions about them but the sodas are everything they're like for example there's the thing about the pneumatic george versus the vac 6131t or 6131 i prefer vax but i do prefer george for the more simplicity i just prefer vax altogether um yeah it's all finishing collection there so yeah that's just what we do that i made like an asmr video there was no talking for me which was me going around the house with the vacuum um, I'm very surprised and amazed that the thermal cutout didn't kick in because one time I was using the DC-01 and the uh, thermal cutout did kick in. So yeah, I'm just going to put that in a bag, that uh, stuff. Yeah. Alright, so I thought I'd do a vacuum cleaner video. Um, I did have a Black & Decker one for my car. It was a mini, I can't remember what it's called now. Dustbuster, I can't remember what it's called. It was meant for my car. I was going to do a video of it. I didn't get a charger with it though. So in the end I just thought, no point not keeping it anyway. There's no point buying a charger for it to then sell it on when it made any money from it. So I just got rid of it really. It was a modern one anyway. So it wasn't a keeper. But yeah, let's do more ASMR videos of that. Or just more vacuum videos in general. Hopefully you'll be going up to Dorian's at some point. Um, be able to do some more of his vacuums. I haven't focused on many there. So that's that. Um, I'm just going to show you something else. On the subject of the vacuum cleaners, this is the cupboard next to the stairs. Um, I've got some handheld ones in here. I've got uh, that's a, a dirt devil I've got there. I need to refit the belt. There's my original one to my collection, the tiny turbo. That's the one of the other tiny turbos is here, the one I've got in the box. Kirby Vacuette is here, and there's a black and decker one that I picked up from Reading. More for the handhelds. That's coming out in the winter. That's my electric radiant fire. That's a, an American whisk that is actually. The electric road and fire, and also for the washing machine guys, here's where I kept my stash of motors. I'm sure you recognise the bottom three, what they are. But if you don't, here we go. This is the this is an AEG motor. You can probably see that there. That came out of the Creda 17317D, complete with the plug. So I'm just saying, if anyone knows anything about this, this is the plug for the motor compared to a GC one. However. Creda did wire GC motors up to their original models with this kind of plug. And you don't know how you fit eight plugs onto seven. And that's the connection you got. So it can't just be connected to that. But I keep on there to try and study what all the wires are. This is a super silent motor out of a, um, what was that? It was a Hotpoint WD640 in polar white in BHF. I saved this for my good mate slash brother. Um, have, we got, have we got the sticker? Right? There we have, yeah. C-set um, three-phase induction motor. That's from a uh, 
yeah, supersonic, it's a supersonic motor on the WFs, WTs and whatnot. He wanted one for his WT960. I kept, I don't know how good it is. I've never tried it out. It's heavy, very heavy. Now these bottom ones are GEC motors. So this one here, I've got to remember them now because two of them are, I think, WM and one is a 9.5 motor. Believe it or not, yeah, this is this wire here you see is coming off this one. This is um, a WM one with the PECA system on it. This one, they've all got brushes in them as well, which is good. Let me check the, um, how you know is normally by the, uh, God, that's heavy, that one is. I remember taking that one on the bus, I did. Right, it's got an adjustable tachometer, it's for a 9.5. So you've got the white brushes. They always make sure you use the white brushes and not this. Ah, uh, that one I think's out of a Creeder. Yes, this one's out of a Creeder. I think it's a 1200 Eco Wash or something, or Super Speed 1200. I don't know what it is from. This one is from Charlie's old WM34. It is it is for a WM, but it can be used on a, a 95 as well because it was on a it's WM34. This one so is definitely, this is what would the WD64 would use. Not only has it got the yellow holder, it's got the non-adjustable tachometer. That's, you know, it's for a Vogue series. And they're all, they are all 1200 motors. So, because I only know that I'm going to need a 1200 motor. This uh, Pekka system though is, I don't know if it's broken or something. I suppose it can be removed maybe, I don't know. But yeah, this is why I keep them all here. They've been oiled up, so they've all been kept safer. That one I have no need for. I'm just assessing the wire on it, so I know if I do get one of those creeders and I put a GEC motor on it, I know what to do because um, they can't take it. I just thought I'd show you the other vacuums. Here's some of the vacuum parts as well. Um, I've got some spares for all the vacs. I've stripped down two vacs, one two ones, and that I couldn't save. This is um, this is the filter out of that pneumatic Henry that we saved. I still got. I don't know what's going on with that one. That's why I keep my small appliances like hair dryers and electric whisks. I thought I'd just show you that. I've got two more, two, I've got more back ones in here. We have like VAC 6131T, it's Basil, the Medivac and Hetty, and that's where they're kept at the moment. With the two spin dryers there. Also, recognize that. That's on the WD61 and the Beko that we had to scrap earlier this year. Frigidaire and the teeth are kept here. These are where I keep all my washing machine parts. And the Creda hoses, this one, that's from the Creda washer dryer. See, it's still, still haunting us to this day. I've got door seals galore in there and everything. I'll just show you all guys this here. See, door handle for a Creda. There's the Perspex off the WD64. And I've got two fascias for a 9530 and 9534 up there. Let's go and close so it comes out again. And there's a little teaser to show you what we've got in here that I've saved from outside in the cold. We have brought the Hoover A3060 in. She's going to sit there now through the winter. I'm going to get her in the kitchen so we can wash a load of vintage bedding in her. She's sounding good. A new seal as well. There we go. Oh, that and Daz as well. Got that. There's the WD64. It's out there. My mum's just come home. Just, just in time, she just came over from over cleaning the house. So yeah, that's that guys, that's gonna be, um, yeah, hopefully plan to go to Dorton's in November. Well, he's set a date for it. I've got to go and get time off for it, and I'll do that. Um, but no, apart from that, I just wanted to show you everything. I've got, I've got a few fans here. I've got the Dyson Air Multiplier and the AEG one from Charlie, and I think I've got the Honeywell one over there somewhere. Um, so I am coming up to now about another eight days. It's going to be, was it eight days or was it? What's the date today? Is it 20th? 20th. Nine more days, 29th September. That is my 10 year anniversary on YouTube. I need to shave as well. So I plan to, at some point, do a talk through of all the irons that I've got. got those there and those. I've got some overspill ones on that shelf there. And I think I've got some in that cupboard outside. Um, but apart from that, yeah, that's literally everything. Um, I'm going to be doing just a video talking about the history of my channel, basically what I started out as, um, and all. Just, just, I mean, I might not have video footage, but I'm going to go through all the intros I've ever done. So that's the spoken ones, 
even the title intros, I've saved them all over the years from like 2016, all the different names I've been through, and some will just talk through some of the best moments that I've had. If I've got some video footage, I will I'll show it. Um, just, just what my 10 years on YouTube has been like. Uh, it's been absolutely amazing. And well, many, many more decades to come. You know, hopefully I'll uh, hopefully have a, my own place soon at some point. Uh, I don't know when, but it's in the pipeline. And we can have somewhere to keep all these this stuff, all the machines, we'll just use them whenever we want. And that's that. So I'll sign that one off there, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I really love sharing vacuum cleaners for people because I know that there's also people who like vacuum cleaners as well, especially Dyson's. They're, they're special in their own way. Every vacuum is. Um, I always look at British Heart Foundation because we do they do get loads of these in. So hopefully I can get a DC-07 in purple and red. I want that one, the Root Cyclone one. And I've kind of got my Dyson collection. Maybe the DC-15 I'd like. Or the very first Dyson ball with the, the big one, not the smaller ones. We'll see what happens. I'm not really keen on the Dyson ball or anything sort of after that. We'll see what happens. I'd like a DC-02 as well, maybe, in that colour. I don't know. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that, guys, as much as I did. And as usual, thank you, and I hope you enjoy the video of the WD-64 as well. And, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow.